the way we are going to proceed is uh, we are going to freeze our body. Now, this is kind of important because uh, the way any feature-based modeling uh, software works is if we created another volume around this and just ex extruded a huge cube or something around this body, it would merge, merge the two parts together. So we want to go to tools and freeze. Now this body is frozen and if we create something around it, it will be two separate bodies. So that's what we're going to do. The way you do this, uh, the easiest way probably, is to create an enclosure. So tools, enclosure. What this offers us is a new menu. Uh, you can pick a shape. For, uh, for kind of uh, vehicle aerodynamics, you would like to use a box because it will be uh, most similar to a kind of a wind tunnel or something rectangular and stuff like that. If you're using, uh, if you're trying to do CFD analysis on something like a helicopter or an airplane or something like that, a more uh, a more appropriate far field would be a sphere or something like that, where you do not uh, really need um, a wall that is going to represent the road and stuff like that. So, but we're going to remain with a box. Uh, the next thing is the number of planes. So uh, what this means is the number of symmetry planes. Obviously uh, this body is symmetrical down the middle. So obviously you would choose one symmetry plane and then you would say the symmetry plane is the YZ plane. So you would click YZ here and apply. The model is a full model. If we already cut the model in half in SOLIDWORKS and set the symmetry plane to YZ, we could pick partial model here and the design modeler will recognize on which part of the plane either in positive x direction or the negative x direction where the material is and it will create the enclosure on that part but since we have a full model it will cut it in, in half for us so we're going to use one one plane for now I mean we are going to need two but I'm going to show you show you why we are going to use one for now so we click one and next thing to choose is a cushion now Let's say, well, cushion is basically the just uh, the amount of air uh, that it's going to provide away from each surface of the body. So I'm going to demonstrate this rather than talk. Let's say 50 millimeters and generate. Okay, and it created a volume of air which is 50 millimeters away from each surface of the body. So from the bottom surface of the leg, from the side surface, and from the top surface. Now we obviously don't want our domain to be uniform because we want to have let's say five car lengths in front of our body ten car lengths to the rear five to the side or five to the top and stuff like that so we are going to go to enclosure and edit our selection we are going to go to non-uniform and now this is the problem that most people face and don't really know how to fix it I've been asked uh, this on the CFD online forums and this is why I'm doing the video so you can say for example in our x plus direction this is to our side our body um, people usually say it should be around three to five car lengths to the side so let's just our body is uh, 1044 millimeters so let's say 3000 for now if you click generate you can see how this looks okay and then our y plus we are going to also put 3000 generate you can see how that looks this is the kind of zoom to fit button so I like to use that one it's also available in the right click menu and then we want our domain to extend in the positive Z for let's say 5,000 millimeters and the negative Z let's say seven and a half thousand we're going to be cheap okay but now you're going to face the following problem you want uh, you do want the legs to be in contact with the road. Road. There needs to be an intersection there. So if we look at it from the z-plane and I try to put uh, in the y direction, in the negative y, I'm going to try to put zero, obviously, to get an intersection, but it does not allow you to do that. Now, uh, the way to fix this is we are going to say we have two symmetry planes, okay? Even though the body is not really symmetrical, uh, compared to the ZX plane. Uh, this does not mean, mean that the, the symmetry plane means that uh, we have to mirror the body. It just means that we can get our intersection working. So we're going to do enclosure, edit selection. We're going to put two planes here. 
and our other plane is going to obviously be the zx plane. So zx plane apply. And now it does not matter what you put in the negative x direction, uh, negative y, I'm sorry. In the negative y, we can put 50,000, okay? And click generate. It does not matter. It's going to intersect our legs perfectly, okay? So that's kind of good to know. Uh, same goes with the, the symmetry in the negative x direction, it does not matter, and um, yeah, and the y. So, this is kind of how you get your volume of air. Now, it's created another body here, it's named it a solid, and it is a fluid body. So, we're just going to rename this into our air, because that's what it's going to be. The next thing to do would be to kind of subtract our AMED body, from the air, because air is this whole cube around the body. The air is also here. So we're going to do a create boolean, and this is going to offer us a unite or subtract or intersect or stuff like that. So we're going to subtract. Our target body is our air, okay? So click anywhere on the air domain. And our tool body is going to be our AMED body. So you can either click here, or you can select it from over here and click apply. And do we want to preserve our tool body? We do not want this solid. It does not have any purpose for CFD other than, for example, uh, fluid structure uh, inter uh, interactions and stuff like that, but we can cover that in the future at some point. So, uh, this is what we end up with. Okay, we have the air without the AMED body. So, this is just the air, and this is what we actually need. All of these surfaces, if we pick the selection tool here, all of these surfaces are going to be stationary walls, okay, inside Fluent later on. So we'll, we are going to pick all of these and say it's a stationary wall. Well, we're not going to pick it because Fluent is going to know. So this part is kind of done. Uh, there is still a step to assign name selections for velocity inlets, pressure outlets, and stuff like that, but I like to do that inside the ANSYS meshing. So. For now, this is kind of ready. So we're going to save our project and we're going to go and save it in the tutorial folder uh, under AMAD body. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is keep all of your files in the same folder. So if you're doing a project, create a new folder and name it my project inside. Okay, I've obviously mistyped that. Put your uh, SOLIDWORKS geometry if you're doing an import or CATIA geometry or whatever. Put everything inside here, including the, the workbench file and the associated files it's going to create. Because what's going to happen if, let's say, your AMED body is somewhere on the other hard drive and you move it later on. The whole project is going to fall apart and you're going to have to look for the body and stuff like that. And try to fix that. I've kind of ruined uh, 60 gigabytes of my files just by moving a couple of files and I've not been able to repair it, so keep everything in the same folder. Okay, that's it for now. I'm going to continue recording, but this is going to be in another video. So, bye-bye.